Hello everybody. In this video, we want to show you how you can import the uh, DXF line into Idea Statica detail module. So for this reason, I will go to the detail module. And from here, I will create the model. And I can go to the general shape. So from here, Okay, so here I have the import DXF. You can just go to the DXF file that I have. So let me show you before, you know, uh, importing the lines to Idea Statica, show you the, uh, you know, the CAD file, what I have here. So as you can see here, I have this reinforcement. So this lines represents as reinforcement. So I will remove them. And simply I can just you know change the pattern of the reinforcement for example here I want to have something like this maybe okay so maybe I want to have something like this and also um, from here maybe I want to put uh, some reinforcement maybe in this way okay so i can put it in this way and later on actually i can change the uh, reinforcement uh, size or diameter in idea statica itself so the beauty of uh, this workflow is that so from here just i simply uh, can draw the reinforcement pattern so just like this and uh, then after exporting to idea statica so there in idea statica you can actually you know uh, work with this reinforcement you know in uh, much easiest way so right now i will save this file okay i will save it as dxf so you need to save it as dxf and then save replace yes and then i will close this okay so now I can go back to here, Idea Statica, and as you can see here right now, I'm in the geometry uh, option. So I can go to the import DXF. I will select this one, my drawing, and from here, so first I want to bring the uh, geometry of the model. So for this reason, I will select the, uh, let's say the outline, as you can see here by selecting the outline. So here the line number 12 is selected. So it means that if you have a you know proper CAD file with you know all assigned layers, so simply you can uh, you know select from here, for example, by selecting the uh, uh, lines, press Control and select the line, or um, I don't know by pressing the Shift and then you can select you know the uh, proper lines or uh, let's say you know desired lines. But here since I don't have actually, you know, a proper uh, drawing. So I want to show you the another method uh, because, you know, the uh, software should be practical. So that's why here I will put this one uh, or let's say select, you know, this outline. So from here, I will select all these lines, which is the outline of the deck. Okay. I will select this, 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 okay, and maybe here, 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 and the last one is here. Okay, so, and now I can go to the outline, so press on the outline, and then I can click OK. So right now, I have the geometry of the deck, and for this example, just I want to bring, you know, this gear there. So just I want to show you actually, you know, the workflow, the procedure, how you can bring it. So for this reason, again, I will go to the uh, import DXF. Again, select the same file. And I want to bring it the middle uh, gear there. Okay, so I will select this one. And then, so put it here. So as you can see, it's very simple. So now I can go to the, uh, let's say, loads. If you want to assign the loads, again, simply you can assign the load. For example, here I have uh, one load case. If I want to add another load case, I can add it from here. But for this load case, I will go to here. And then I can assign, for example, a line load. 
to let's say top of the uh, deck from here i will go to the change to uh, let's say you know the edge because here we have you know the edge numbers we have the edge numbers and then from here i want to change this one to number 17 because here i have the 17 okay so we change this one to here and then right now we have it and from here you can change the value of the load for example here i can change it to minus 5 okay and same thing so if you want to add any load for example to here so again possible so you can make a copy of this load and this time instead of uh, having this load at edge number 17 so you can change it for example you know to edge number 15 okay so i'm going to you know to change it to number 15 and then from here i just you know check it or let's say change it to number 15 and if you want to have the in client uh, uh, let's say load so from here you can go to inclination and then maybe here i can say that uh, 30 okay so in this way you can put the load and then so the main thing that uh, it is actually you know the purpose of this uh, tutorial is reinforcement so i will go to the reinforcement and from here i need to go to the input or edit reinforcement okay so i will go to this option and from here again as you can see i have the import dxf however from here you have actually different type of reinforcement uh, template so you can assign the templates for example here I can go to the model okay and then i want to put the reinforcement uh, somewhere here i want to put the reinforcement for example here okay so simply i can again go to here i can select group of bars and by default is here the only thing that you need to do is just changing the uh, you know edge number from edge number one to 17 for example i can put it here and as you can see here i have the reinforcement from here and then i can go to for example also here and you know add more reinforcement so here i have the reinforcement and also from here you have some other options so you can go to for example here this options and then you know change the let's say extend the reinforcement okay so you can do it very simply <clears throat> not only that also from here you can change the you know the uh, bending of the reinforcement just you know by coming to here maybe you can select this for example as you can see here you have this or maybe you can check it you know to this one or from here same thing so you can add it to here and it is actually you know from the uh, template that simply you can put the reinforcement but right now i want to show you the import dxf so i can go to the import dxf again the same file and then open so now i want to bring this reinforcement pattern so i can select this and then so here as you can see i have this reinforcement and also i put another reinforcement here as you can see so here i can select this and again so i can put it here so right now i have also this reinforcement and then click ok okay now here you have the reinforcement and here you have the diameter okay reinforcement diameter so for example from here i can say that you know diameter 32 and then here so i have the diameter of the reinforcement here and same thing here so sorry this one was for this and for this one also i can select select this reinforcement okay so right now it's selected and it is this one and from here also i can say that 32 okay see here or i can go to let's say 16 okay see the reinforcement and then even for example 100 just to be seen better 
okay so from here you can up this and then you can go to the uh, let's say you know the real 3d view okay so here you have you know the reinforcement okay guys so it was the thing that uh, i wanted to share with you how simply you can uh, bring the reinforcement from dxf file to idea statica and then from in, in idea statica you can simply work on the reinforcement uh, please stay tuned with us uh, for getting more and let's say you know the most updated videos thank you so much and have a great day